All right, so let's start building out this notebook. So the first thing we're going to do is import our required dependencies. So as I was saying before, the required dependencies for this project will be import TensorFlow as TF, and the next one will be our OS dependency to do some um, file management. Now, the first thing we want to do is set our URL variable equal to the location of our data set. And we're going to be accessing this data set from a link. Now, this link is https colon dash or um, yeah, storage dot google apis dot com dash download dot tensorflow dot org slash example images and then we're going to grab the flower photos dot tgz and let me make sure we have the right code and after that let me make we'll, we'll make sure we have the right address which i think i'm pretty sure we do with the following code so we'll add this url we'll get this file and we'll add it to this variable called zip file. So in order to get this data set, we'll do tf.keras.utils.get file, which gets the file for us. So we can set the origin and we can set that equal to our URL. Next, we can set the file name by this f name parameter and we'll set it to flower photos.tgz. Next, we'll set extract equal to true. And finally, and just remember this is Python, so it has to be capitalized, the Boolean, rather than in Dart, it's minuscule. Um, so the next is cache sub dir, and this is just where we're gonna save our data set in cache. All right. Next, we're going to set a base dir variable, and we'll set this equal to path os dot path dot join, and we'll do os dot path dot dir name, and we're going to pass in the zip file, and this is going to be called flower photos. So we're just joining our flower photos with. Um, our zip file, the name flower photos with our zip file, and we can run this code block. And right now, I had error there. And as you can see, we're downloading our data from the link. And that means it worked. And yeah. So now we're going to do some pre processing. So if you don't know what pre processing is, it's um, getting the data set ready for the neural network. So first, you'll, you'll understand it. We're going to set an image size variable to 224. Now, this is the image size that we're going to set the images in the data set to. Okay. Next, we'll set a batch size parameter equal to 64. And the batch size is just how many images we're inputting into the neural network at once. And everyone, say hi to Crystal. I told you he'd make an announcement a couple times in this in this course. So, Crystal, all the students, say hi to you. <laughs> all right, but cuteness aside, let's start coding. So the first variable we're going to set is our data gen variable, and this is going to be our image data generator. So we'll do tf.keras.preprocessing.image.image data generator. And in here, we're going to normalize our images. So first, we're going to rescale it to 1 divided by 255, 1.255, and our validation split is going to be equal to 0 0.2. So here we're just pre-processing our image. So first of all, we're rescaling it to 
to 1 divided by 255, which um, will make the file size smaller and it would make the neural network train a lot faster over the data set, okay? Next is validation split. So normally your data set is composed of a test set and a um, training set. So the validation set is normally to test our neural network. And what that allows us to do is it gives us a, um, a measure of accuracy on how well the neural ne network is doing on our predictions, okay? So for this case, we're splitting our data set to 20% validation and 80% training. So um, for the next parameter, we're going to do a train generator. And in here, we'll do data gen. So we're going, we're going to be calling this variable and we'll do flow from directory. And which directory? Well, it's going to be our base dir variable that we set up here. And that's the directory for our flower photos. This, this one right here. And here, what we're going to do is we're going to set the target size equal to image size by image size, okay? So we're converting our images to 224 by 224, essentially. Next, we're going to set the batch size and we'll set that equal to batch size, okay? And as I mentioned before, that's just how many images get inputted into the neural network through each epoch or each step. Now we'll set the subset parameter equal to training. And this is just what we're gonna call it. Now, the last variable we have to set will be, did I mess something up there? No, okay. The last variable we'll set is our val generator. Let me just make this look cleaner. So after each variable, we'll have a new line just to make it look better. All right, beautiful. So finally, the last generator that we need to create will be a validation generator. So similar to the last one, we're going to just copy and paste it. No point in just retyping it. And rather than training, we'll set this equal to validation. And pretty much we're just pre-processing the data set to be, all right. So val generator equals data gen dot flow from directory. And we'll run this code block. And as you can see, our training generator data set is composed of 3000 images belonging to five classes. And our validation data set is composed of 731 images belonging to five classes. So we've normalized and um, pre-processed our images for our neural network. So now it's time to build our neural network. But before we do that, we need to create our labels.txt file where we'll hold all of the labels. So in order to do that, we'll, um, let's just do a print statement and we'll print train generator dot class indices and I'll print that and as you can see the keys are the names of the classes so we can use this to our advantage by creating a list of labels composed of these names so the first thing we're going to do is have a new line and we're going to join it with a sorted function of our train generator dot class indices dot keys. So now we have a list of labels with our keys. Okay. Now we're going to write it to a file. So we'll do with open and we'll open a file called labels.txt. And with W here, if this file doesn't exist, we're going to write it. If it exists, then we're going to overwrite it and yeah so pretty much that's what this w stands for so we'll do this as f 
and we'll f dot write our labels. Now, if we run this code, we'll get a new file that pops up here, or we should get a new file. Let's refresh and beautiful. So now we have our labels.txt file. So now it's finally time to build this neural network. So I'm going to stop this lecture video here. And in the next video, we're going to start building a neural network. And we're going to be using a transfer learning method where we take a pre-trained neural network that has been that has optimized weights and we're going to um, change its um, its classification so it can predict up I think the one we're going to be using is mobile net I think it can predict up to 80 different classes but we're going to um, transfer that into our own data set and what this is going to allow us to do is have a very good and powerful neural network so that's huge. And if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, please let me know. I'd be more than happy to help. I want you guys to have a great experience with this course. So um, I'll see you in the next video.